Okay. What we have here is the continuing saga of the CTC-12. This is the set I picked up a barter exchange with somebody. It was basically a freebie to me. Um, and it, it, this is the one that did not have any flyback at all when I got it, as though the last tech that worked on it pulled the flyback and then that was the end of that. So what I'm doing now is I'm battling that old scourge excess of flyback heat. So, in my attempts to uh, fight that, and I've done everything I that you're done that you're supposed to do legitimately. I've switched it to the low power tap on the power transformer. I've adjusted the efficiency coil. I played around with different uh, high voltage tubes. I have set the regulator current, got the high voltage set right. Everything I I do in order to try to get the um, get the current as low in the flyback as possible and it still gets hot. Now, let's move around to the back. I'll show you what I'm doing right now. Okay. Let me get my headlight hanging here. Here you can see I've got the case on it. The, uh, the flyback cover I should say right here. Now, I removed the metal top. I didn't damage it, I just popped off the rivet that holds the metal top down. I replaced it with this piece of cardboard which has a vent hole on the top and a small muffin fan. Uh, what you can't see in here right now, if it works I'll show you later, but down inside here I've got a small plenum that goes down that gets the uh, air from this fan past the high voltage rectifier tube which is like right here, I mean a regulator tube which is right here. I don't want to keep the air up, it's going down, and it directs the air downward, down the sh shaft, like an elevator shaft, and then points out towards the flyback. I've got it currently just using a little 9 volt battery powering it up, so we'll see how this works out. If this works, I mean, well, no, because if I just put the flyback cage on as is with the correct top and everything, that flyback gets upwards of 180, 190 degrees. Uh, wax starts dripping out. The whole tire gets kind of soft. It'll start to move around. If you, you know, it's just, you know, and maybe they always do that. I don't know. Uh, but in this day and age, you really can't afford to be smoking flybacks because they're just hard to come by. So I figure a little ounce of prevention here is a is definitely worth the pound of cure. But anyway, so I've got that little muffin fan. I've already tested it by aiming the muffin fan right on the flyback with this with this cage with this uh, cover off and it's great I mean it, it it doesn't exceed 100 degrees and you know so if I can at least get that kind of performance I'll be very happy I did try running it without the cage at all just take this off and after about an hour hour and a half you're up to around oh 150 degrees F which is better than 200 but it's still hot and I don't really like doing that and I have I don't have any of the x-ray protection from the cage not that I'm really too worried about that um, if this works out excuse me I might sneeze here if this works out I will duplicate all this <laughs> excuse me I'll duplicate all this stuff you see right here Let me get this headband off. all this stuff you see here will be done in metal and what I'll do is I'll put a top cap over that hole I want to have the ventilation hole to come out I might and what I'll do is I'll have a hole, but then I'll have another piece of metal that's spaced off about a half inch, so that you still have the X-ray protection, but yet the yet the uh, hot air can ventilate out the top. That hole is right over. I'm not gonna show up on the video here. Uh, what you're seeing there is the uh, regulator tube. I don't know if that came out. Um, so we'll see how this works out. My goal here is to all my TVs, my vintage TVs. I like to incorporate some kind of active cooling on the flyback uh, just to preserve them. Uh, I might even put a cooling fan down here just in a general chassis area to blow the hot air out. Try to keep everything a little bit under under control. Uh, this, oh, one other one while I'm sitting here, I'll just talk about one more thing real quick. This set was having the funky color in that it would. Um, 
you would you would you would see a, the a, on a blue sky it'd be split horizontally. You'd see blue and green, or you see a, a, a red apple, and that red apple would start out red, and top half of it would be red, the bottom half would be purple. All kinds of weirdness was going on with the color, and it seemed as though the tint was changing with each line. So you'd have a few lines of one color. Anyway, I ended up figuring that it had to have something to do with a reference oscillator. This is the that's a 3.5 megahertz oscillator inside that can. That's the the, uh, the detector, the the, um, the burst phase detector transformer, and that tube right here, right here, is the burst amp. Well, I figured it had something to do with the burst amp. Sure enough, I pulled that tube, subbed it, problem went away. Then, because it went away, I went ahead and checked it, and sure enough, the old tube had a uh, shorted pin one end pin had showed up shorts a light short on pin one which is a grid and a more much more solid short on the cathode um, which is pin two so anyway new tube fixed that up didn't recap it so all still has the original caps you know no caps are us around here uh, even the uh, he's making a lot of noise hmm be interesting if I turn the you know, one thing I want to do is I want to turn the power off and see if the sound of that fan changes because I know that when I get these fans close to the RF energy from the flyback it definitely affects them it slows them down for some reason anyway so we're going to come back to this I'm just going to let this thing run for a full two hours and then I'm going to take the uh, pull the um, pull this well I'll probably pull it off at the one hour mark just to make sure I'm not toasting anything in there and see what kind of temperature I have and it's if it's okay I'll just put it right back on again and uh, see if I can go for uh, at least two hours. I mean ideally I'd be able to run this thing all day and have that flyback not get more than 100 degrees but uh, we'll see how that goes. If this works out what I'll do is in lieu of this 9 volt battery is I'll just build a little um, a little uh, you know, a little rectifier and a you know, filter cap and just make a little DC source by tapping off a filter uh, off a uh, filament lead I can probably grab a filament lead off of the uh, right off of this tuner somewhere in there is a filament one of those leads is the filament lead so I can just tap into that put a little little full wave rectifier on it with a with a small cap and that would power up this fan very nicely I would think we'll see more to come we'll see how this turns out